Hortonworks Enterprise PDM has been helping companies of all sizes gain better control over their data as well as get increased efficiency in their design teams. Let's take a look at some of the top reasons why this is becoming such a well-known product in this area. First of all, the integration with Windows Explorer is just phenomenal. We can see, see here that I'm browsing on my C drive, my computer, and I'm browsing down into the vault. And right away, I have all this extension of functionality. This preview window can preview over 400 different file types, including all of your 3D CAD data, as well as 2D AutoCAD drawings. Other tabs we'll go through in a little while, but the columns are quite nice as well, capturing other information about your file, such as description, revision, and anything else that you need to be modified as you move along. As we browse over to regular Windows Explorer, we'll notice the tabs disappear as well as the extra buttons and columns of information disappear as well. One of the great ways that companies are increasing efficiency as well as standardizing how work is being done is via the use of templates. In regular Windows Explorer, when you click New, you'll get a list of different types of files that you can create in those folders. When browsing over inside of Windows Explorer, or within the Enterprise PDM Vault, we'll notice that when you right click and select New, you'll not only get the same files depending on where you are, but you'll get a listing of templates that work to company standard. Let's create a new project. Enterprise PDM captures standard information and also cascade lists to make sure that correct information is correlated. If I change this to Category 2, we'll notice a separate drop-down list with Category 2. These forms, of course, are going to be set up to meet your company standards. Project managers can be selected, as well as customers can be selected off a drop-down list to make sure that spelling is correct. We'll also notice that serial numbers are generated as anything new is generated, in this case a project number, but can also be used for part numbers, assembly numbers, and anything else. Project Launch will automatically categorize the project in the appropriate location to company standard. In this case, I have the projects broken up by the year they were created, and then by project number dash project name as a top level folder, with subfolders underneath to help us manage this project. Project information is driven from the project launch directly into the contents of documents. This not only saves time, but ensures that companies are creating documents to company standard. Because all of this functionality is built on Windows Explorer, Loading in files is a simple process. Dragging and dropping files from one folder to another will ensure that all of the information is captured as well as backed up in the database. Any type of file can be loaded into Enterprise PDM, including email files. Just by dragging and dropping them out of Microsoft Outlook, we'll notice that a preview of the email can be generated, as well as the information about the email can be captured, and project information can even be stamped onto the email. This ensures that when searching in the vault, this information will automatically appear when searching for related information to this project. It's quite common for companies to have some sort of documentation to help manage change. Let's create a new change request by using the same type of launch that we used earlier on for the project. Using drop-down list to capture the type of change, urgency, Information such as whether it's billable and today's date make it very easy to work to company standards. Driving all of that information into a standardized document with a newly generated number and driving all of that information as well as the project information into a standardized template document that we can now use to document and pass over this change. Once again, this is not only saving a designer or anybody else at the company time, but also ensuring that company standard is followed. Let's do a little bit of work inside of SOLIDWORKS. First thing I want to show you is saving a document into the vault. Any Windows-based application has direct access to the vault on the C drive while browsing. We can then browse into the project that we want to save the file in. And we'll notice that the file name, in this case P00003, is generated automatically by the vault to stick with some serialization. To help standardize the type of information that the part needs in order to be properly searchable and to fill in correctly on the bill of materials, we use property links. Property links helps you standardize the information that's necessary to capture 
and there's a free version available to all of our clients. Yellow fields are considered mandatory, and grayed out fields are controlled by Enterprise PDM, such as part number and all of the project information down here. The tabs of information can be arranged how you see fit, including material tab, tolerancing, linking towards measurements, such as the distance here, as well as vendor information. It is becoming increasingly more popular for engineering teams to be integrated with the ERP system. An example here is generating lists out of a database link directly to an ERP system to get an order of operation. We can also link together with the source and vendor information. In this case, purchase component generating source codes automatically with database cross-referencing. And then driving down into vendor information, which is linked directly out of your ERP. Driving this information into your part from your ERP is an important aspect of working with the Javelin system. With the push of a button, a SOLIDWORKS drawing can be created and the title block can be completely filled out. This title block should be controlled by property links and the Enterprise PDM Vault. Drawn by is already filled in, approved by, as well as a revision letter will be filled in as I pass this through an approval process. One of the most important aspects of Enterprise PDM is managing change. I made some quick updates to this bearing, increasing the diameter here and adding some fillets, and let's go and update the drawing as well. So far I haven't shown the right tab, which shows a link to Enterprise PDM Vault. You can see some nice highlights showing that these have been updated and can see that I'm working on the file right now. Having my name next to this file is a very subtle thing, but this is what makes the magic of coordinating multiple designers together happen. Let's check in this file right now with the updated bearing. Adding comments here ensures that a proper history is tracked and makes it easy to find what you can roll back to. Just by selecting the original drawing, Enterprise PDM will automatically go and get the associated file types. Very simple with a drawing part relationship, but with a more complex assembly and multiple files, this can be a very powerful tool. Here we can see exactly what the drawing looked like before when it was originally designed, and we can see a very obvious highlight that I'm not working with the latest information. This is the same way it would appear if one of my colleagues were to update this file somewhere else in this world. It's just a push of the button, however, to get the latest information. And instantly, we see the latest information in front of us with those updates. Having enforced company processes is critical. Simply by right-clicking on File, any user will have the permission to do whatever it is that he is responsible for. In this case, I can submit this for approval. Adding comments not only gets captured in history, but also gets informed in the notification that gets automatically sent to the managers. Permissions can be easily controlled throughout this workflow process, as well as the state can be clearly communicated to anybody looking at these files. Controlling these workflows from an administration standpoint is very simple as well. It's a very graphical workflow where new states and transitions can easily be added. With our quick start, we have out-of-the-box workflows for all CAD documents, an engineering change process, library items to control permissions, and even a quote workflow for any of those companies where sales is very tightly integrated with engineering. Having proper search capabilities is revolutionizing how our customers are doing business. Imagine getting a listing of all of your engineering change requests with all of the columns of information instantly, and then being able to filter those down based on urgency or whatever other criteria might be important to you. Here are a couple urgent change requests that need my attention today. If this is something that I want to frequently search on on a daily basis, I would recommend saving it as a favorite. Give it a meaningful name and share it with anybody else that would benefit. By accepting that, we'll notice a favorite urgent change requests being appearing in my search favorites, and it's very easy to repeat at a later time. 
Similar functionality can be used with quotes. We can filter the list if we like, but what I really like doing is using Excel to get a good understanding of the status of these quotes. Leveraging pivot tables in Excel, I can get these quotes broken down by customer, the project descriptions, or quote descriptions, as well as summing the total amount that's been filled in inside those quotes to get an idea of what business is coming in. Of course, one of the most important aspects of searching is the engineering search. Searching for all SOLIDWORKS files, for instance, instantly. Or filtering that down by workflow, such as the waiting for approval, where we'll see the exact same pillow block that we worked with earlier on. This can also be a great way to generate a list, but one of my favorite aspects is that the fact that you can work directly out of here. Here we'll notice the title block does not have an approved by or a revision letter. As a manager, if I'm happy with this drawing, I can easily approve it from here. Writing a quick comment and filling in the approval form will ensure that the title block not only gets filled in with appropriate information, such as revision and approved by, but will also ensure that a lot of automation takes place, such as producing PDFs automatically or releasing the permissions so that manufacturing can even view the file. Well, I hope you enjoyed this brief overview of SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM. If you do have further questions, please feel free to contact us at sales at javelin-tech.com.